guys, Declan here. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do some acid etching. Um, I'm going to do it in a few different steps obviously because of the waiting process with actually dipping it in acid. Um, but we'll start with the first steps and go on from there. Um, I'll show you how to do positive and negative etching as well. So, um, so we've got two more knives here. Um, I've already done the other one, I'm just going to start on this one to show you. Um, so basically what you're going to need is you're going to need some nail polish remover and um, if you're going to be doing some designs and things like that um, some white stickers are normally a good idea like these ones here just for being able to cut out and giving yourself a bit of like um, borders and that to stay in um, so on this one I'm going for the splattered effect um, one quick real important tip that you do first make sure that you go on the cutting edge and the tip of the knife first and you give it more than one layer because if you if the acid actually leaks through that and you start etching the cutting edge or the point uh, you'll eat away at the material really fast and you will have to regrind it so I always go over the cutting edge and the point more than once and that way you just basically a bit of extra protection so you don't have to regrind the blade um, so yeah so I'm going to start off by doing the splatter effect on this one and um, what you do is you get uh, brush and you basically put big and little sized dabs like so all over the blade I'll do it down here and show you on them so this takes a few minutes so what I'll do is I'll cut the record in here and bring you back when I'm finished all right guys so as you can see I've uh, obviously put lots and lots of spots on there um, so now what I would do is basically go over the edge again, um, but I'm just going to show you the next step. Um, make sure you don't forget to do the spine, so in this case I'm having the splatter effect. So I'll basically just run down the spine, doing a couple of dots, some big, some small. Same sort of principle, just so that when you've actually finished the knife it doesn't sort of look out of place on the spine. So just a few dabs like so. Just wanted to quickly show you before we dip it guys that I've put my logo there in red so you can obviously see it. Um, that's just so that when we etch it you'll still get my logo. Um, so now the next part is the dipping. Uh, is the acid. Um, I'll put the link in the description for uh, where you can get this acid and also the name of it. And then basically what you'll do is, this handle is plastic, so the material won't actually be eaten by this acid, because it only affects metal. Um, so you then basically dip this into the acid and leave it hanging. Uh, I normally leave it for about 30 minutes. Um, when it's started to be a little bit older, the acid, you obviously will need to leave it a little bit longer just to make sure that you get the nice etch. Um, so... That's the next step for that knife, and I'll uh, grab the other knife and show you that one. Right guys, so I'm about to dip this one, and I just want to show you this one before it's finished. Uh, as you can see, there's music notes, and on the other side, music notes with my Wolf Claw logo. Some more music notes. Um, so basically guys, the reason I'm doing it this way is to show you the difference between positive and negative, because... All of the shiny areas that are visible here will be etched by the acid and it will leave the biggest area shiny and on this one it's the opposite so you'll get all of the little dots will be very very shiny and the rest of the knife will be sort of a dark faded colour um, and that's the difference between positive and negative. Um, so this is basically dipping them. Uh, I'm just using my kitchen side here as a little rig to uh, hold the blade um, and I lower it in and tie it off up here and then we leave that for 30 minutes so I'll come back to you guys when that's done so this is just pulling the second one out guys, uh, do a little rig I made, get all the acid off, give it a shake, and then dip them into the water, get this 
much of it off as possible. That's it. And then there's the acetone. What I'll do is I'll uh, wipe this off and come back to you guys. Right guys, so once you've taken all the polish off, you then go back to the uh, very fine paper and water and give it a rub down. Uh, you don't have to, you can leave it really dark if you want to, I just prefer to uh, make it so it's light. It looks kind of light engraving than that. I think that looks better, but each to their own. Um, and then once you've given it a sand, This also polishes the rest of the blade as well. If you're using a very fine grit like the 400, you'll get, um, you'll basically sh uh, shine the metal that's showing. And there you go, music notes. My logo music notes. So here they both are, guys. Uh, there's the uh, spotted water effect one. Uh, logo on that side. Come out pretty nice. And there's the music notes. Um, what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to give these two away to the first two people who are subscribers and who can tell me what model these mowers are. Um, so leave a comment saying which model it is and if you get it right I will reply and if you send me your address I will send them to you. Obviously they come with their um, sheaths so yeah tell me what uh, model they are and I will send these to you. Thanks guys.